November 1961, NASA pilots test the X-15 rocket plane. Speeding to Mach 6, NASA reaches out for the edge of space. 10 still good. Fantastic up here. But unbeknown to the American public, these rocketry milestones have been built on technology from an unlikely source. Nineteen forty. World War II rages as London burns under relentless aerial bombardment. But deep within Nazi Germany, Hitler's plans for a new long-range superweapon are being hatched. The V-2 rocket is the world's first ballistic missile and will leave Britain defenseless. But the V-2 has come at great cost to the Nazi war effort. However, these early lessons in rocketry will mark the surprising first steps towards manned spaceflight. And the mastermind behind the V-2 rocket, scientist Werner von Braun, will later become an unlikely giant of the American space program. At the end of the war, US agents capture over 100 German scientists, including von Braun and recruit them to develop weapons for the US Army. The story of von Braun's arrival in the States dates back much further than that. It was very clear that the Allies were winning the war. They had to decide who they should surrender to. They were too concerned about the treatment that they would get from the Russians. And that left the United States Von Braun and his team were shipped over to the States in September 1945, along with 15 tons of paperwork and more than 100 V-2 rockets. On arrival in America, Von Braun continues to develop the V-2 rocket for the US Army, working on the rockets captured from Nazi Germany. Von Braun and his team were clearly interested in pushing the technology forwards improving the performance of the V2, refining some of the systems that controlled the flight. Eventually they started flying two-stage rockets where the V2 was the first stage and they had an additional booster as the second stage. With this small young missile called the WAC Corporal, fresh out of Pasadena, California, the V2 WAC Corporal combination marked for the first time the blending in action of American and German rocket brains a combination that was destined to have its rendezvous with history. As the Cold War gathers momentum, both superpowers realize the conflict will be won or lost on the power of technology. With missiles reaching higher and higher altitudes, it becomes clear that the ultimate symbol of superiority will be the conquest of space. The space race was essentially an arms race, but rather than using weapons of war, it was about the development of space technology. This battle between two competing superpowers, communism, capitalism, the United States and the Soviet Union. And what better stage could there be for you to convince the rest of the world that your system was superior than the stage of space exploration? Supremacy in space was vital. It said to the world, we have the technological superiority over our rivals. And this is why it came as such a shock to the United States when the Russians launched the first artificial satellite to orbit the Earth. the people on this fast shrinking planet heard about it, many of them watched it, all of them read about it. In 1957, the US learns of several spectacular Soviet space victories that send shockwaves across America. 
On October the 4th, 1957, the Soviet Union launches Sputnik 1, the world's first artificial satellite. Sputnik really put the United States into crisis. It was a global event. The Americans were absolutely shocked that a dictatorship suddenly beats them to the first hurdle, which was to put the first object into orbit around the Earth. Every day it was orbiting the Earth 16 times, and every day it was passing over American territory. There was nothing they could do about it, and that's why it had such a powerful effect on their psyche. On November 3rd, 1957, the Earth's second artificial satellite went into orbit. One month later, America suffers further humiliation as Sputnik 2 carries life into orbit. A dog named Laika. This hasn't got a primitive radio transmitter inside. This has got a living complex organism on board, Laika the dog. It was a massive leap in the eyes of the public and technologically as well. 